What's up, guys? It's your favorite funky house DJ, Sarah May here. First off, I want to thank all my followers. I haven't had a real good chance to kind of talk to y'all. And, you know, I'm going to share this on Instagram, on YouTube, and mainly YouTube. Because my buddy says, you got to share more stuff on YouTube. Get more viewers. Show them how to clean a needle or something. So, Ryan, this one is for you. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a simple way how to de-static your vinyl, which kind of creates sometimes some of that crackling and popping. And then I'm also going to show you how to dust the needle that you're using on your turntable. Because sometimes they get a little dirty, they collect dust. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do here today. If you don't get a chance to see it on here you can see it on my youtube channel finish the rest of it on there okay <clears throat> so first off if you're going to be playing uh an actual record on your turntable um not a control vinyl like a serato control vinyl which you still got to clean those two you still got to dust them you can have a clean needle but a dirty record and you can have a dirty neck or a dirty record but a clean needle vice versa either way they both got to be clean in order to achieve optimum sound. So, um, the one of the things that I suggest getting, if you do spend a lot of vinyl, um, and that's your main, your, your main thing, is get one of these things. These are called anti-static brushes, and it's like a felt. It's kind of like velvety feeling. And what it does is it pulls out the little little tiny pebbles and rocks that are caught inside the grooves of your records which is what your needle runs over causing the crackling and popping when you're using vinyl this picks those up and brushes those out of there when used correctly and you just lightly hold it over the record as it's turning and i'm going to show you guys in a second and that'll get most of those little rocks and stuff out of there and those little tiny fragments that are hitting your needle causing that popping and cracking also, the anti-static that comes. This, this the anti-static is so cool on this thing. gets rid of a lot of noise. It gets rid of uh, uh, a lot of... Uh, also, it gets the dust off of your record. So, you're definitely going to see that when you pull that off. And you've ran it. You're going to look at this thing and be like, That is disgusting. I can't believe I had that much stuff on my record. You know? And you pretty much want to do this after you after each play. After you replay a record... You want to clean it before and after, and even your needles too, especially if you're playing a lot of old dusty records. And you didn't get to really do a deep clean, which I can show you on another video, and I'll do that some other time. But for now, let's get started on this. So, how to use this thing is first off, we're going to go ahead and our turntable's on, as you can see right here. So I'm just going to hit the start button. We got a nice little ditty here from G.O.D. featuring Frankie Paul. Of course, this track, Kissing Game, it's an old track. They just, it's been redone and redone. But they did it into a nice UK two-step joint. So I've had this record for about close to 18 years already. Awesome track. But anyway, so we're going to turn on. Let's get it going here. And the record's just spinning, and I'm just going to lightly hold... Hold it over the record like that, and just let the record run underneath it. I'm not stopping the record. The record record's just turning, and then just brush the stuff off. And you can see there's like a couple of little rocks there and fragments. Not too much. I've really kept up with my record, so that it's not really filthy and dirty. I mean, you can just kind of brush it off, you know. Now, what's neat about this one is that it came with a little brush in the back. See that? Now that little brush is what's going to help you dust off the dust bunnies from your needle. And how you do that is, if I could just get this to turn towards where the needle is, as I get this brush out. And every now and then, yeah, you're going to get these dust bunnies and they collect on the tip of your stylus. Now the stylus is not the actual whole needle itself. It's just the tip. 
that's the part that's sitting on your record. Now, that is what tends to collect dust. And, of course, run over those rocks that I was telling you about and little fragments and things like that. So, what you're going to want to do is... I'm going to unlock my... I'm going to unlock my tone arm here. And... I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to get in as close as I possibly can. Where's the camera on this thing? <laughs> okay, so... What you're going to want to do is... Take your brush. This little brush. And you're going to want to... Brush from... The back... To the front just you see that hear it on the speaker just the tips of the bristle okay maybe a couple times and that's it be gentle you don't want to damage your stylus all right so once we've done that we've removed the static from the record we've dusted it with the anti-static brush of course too it does two in one kind of thing and we cleaned our needle. So now we'll just go ahead and give it a ring. Now this is an old record, mind you, so it's still gonna have some crackles and pops. But that's how you de-static and clean your needle. So, there's my first, I guess, um, repair instructional video. Um, so, yeah, my name's Sierra May. Just, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button on the bottom. And I'll be following up with some deeper cleaning methods on the records uh, involving some fluids and liquids, things like that. And then, um, yeah, just hit the button, man. And then we'll keep them coming. All right. Sarah May. Out.